Hello once again. This is Teacher Joyce. So, kumusta mo diyang tanan? Okay ra mo niya? So, init kay panahon. Okay. So, a while ago, somebody was asking me, Ma'am, can we use in and on for denoting a place and time? Yes. Now, today, I'm very excited kay atong lesson is about preposition. How do we use in, on, and at? Okay, let's start with in. We use in for longer periods such as months, years, seasons, and parts of the day. Yes. For example, I would say, I was born in 1990. How I wish. <laughs> it often snows in December. I prefer to study in the morning. But some people prefer to study in nighttime. And remember that we use in to denote that something is inside or within a certain boundary. For example, she is in the room. I live in the Philippines. So you live somewhere in the Philippines within the boundary. Now let's move on to the preposition on. Okay, we use on for specific dates and dates and holidays. Okay, for example, my birthday is on 12th of December. Very specific. We are having a party on Christmas Day. So we also use on to denote a surface or a part of something. For example, I would say, the book is on the table. There is a scratch on the screen. Okay, now let's move on to the preposition at. So how do you use at? Actually, we use at for a precise time, specific time. For example, the meeting is at 3 p.m. I wake up at 7 a.m. So always remember that we use at for specific locations or places and time. Okay, for example, I would say, I arrive at the office at 9 a.m. We will meet at the coffee shop. Okay, that's it. So remember that uh, there are general rules and there are some exceptions. But the more you study, the more you learn. So keep on learning and be positive. Hope you learned something from me today. This is Teacher Joyce. Don't forget to like and subscribe my videos. Bye and have a nice day.